Welcome to another episode of Smooth Operator Trucking. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about my favorite trucker snacks. Snacks that I enjoy eating while I'm on the road to kind of keep me alert and to keep me awake. Now, these aren't necessarily healthy snacks, but these are the snacks that I enjoy. So, keep watching. Welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me on the Smooth Operator Trucking channel. Um, if this is your first time to the channel, please consider subscribing. On this channel, I talk about most things related to trucking. I do trucker karaoke, a uh, little trucker comedy, um, you know, give a little trucker advice. Uh, sometimes I have vlogs and sometimes I just have some B footage, you know, so just, uh, just a variety of things. So um, consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, if you've gotten this far, in the video go ahead and hit that like button keep watching the video to the end and if you watch all the way to the end and you don't like the video hit the dislike button all right um leave a comment in the section below interact a little bit let me know what some of your favorite snacks are keep watching to the end for a very funny rookie truck driving joke all right so let's get started one of my favorite snacks or drinks rather uh when i'm driving are bang drinks now they're not very healthy for you but what energy drink is all right one thing i like about the bang drinks there's no sugar in them all right at least no real sugar there's artificial sugar which i got it you know um it's not the greatest for you but at the end of the day it's probably better than all the sugar that you get in drinking a lot of uh soda or uh drinking the red bulls okay um, i like red bulls also but bang is my choice of drink I can sip on it throughout the night and um, usually gets me through the night. Now, I try not to drink any more, mm, probably say two or three hours prior to me calling it a night because uh, anything past that, it's gonna make it very hard for you to fall asleep. And that's pretty much any energy drink though, okay? By the way, this video is not sponsored. Another snack that I like to have when I'm on the road is chewing gum. All right, chewing gum. If you're driving down the road and you feel yourself start to get a little sleepy, hop in some chewing gum. You'll see it'll give you that little jolt, even for only five or 10 minutes. All right, and once the flavor kind of goes away, but sometimes that five or 10 minutes is what you really need to get you through to get over that little hump of maybe sleepiness or fatigue that you're feeling, okay? Um, if you're a truck driver, especially if you're a new truck driver, be able to pay attention to your body and know the different types of fatigue. There's that, I really just don't feel like driving fatigue and you can kind of push through that. There's that I'm a little sleepy, but if I roll the window down or chew some gum or something like that, five or 10 minutes from now, I'll probably be okay. Then there's that sleep that like, you're like, all right, I've got to pull over right now. And so make sure that you know the difference, okay? Very important. Sometimes uh, snacking or chewing gum will do the trick. And other times it's just best to go ahead and pull over and get a you know 15 20 minute power nap uh, and i say 15 20 minute nap because there's been studies shown that anything over that kind of puts you into the a, a different realm of sleeping and you'll wake up actually uh, more tired than you were before you went to sleep but a 15 to 20 minute nap a lot of times can make wake you up you'll wake up feeling uh a little more alert fruit cups truck stop fruit cups all right now i do like fruit cups However, they are hit and miss, okay? Um, I generally go to Love Truck Stop. That's just because where, that's where I have most of my uh, points at. So I would say the pineapples are very good. Usually the pineapples, 90% of the time, are gonna be spot on. Uh, problem with the pineapples, eat too many of them, kinda, you know, you get that bitter taste in your mouth or it kinda, you know, you, you lose taste in your mouth or um, kinda burns your tongue a little bit, you know? Uh, so eat those sparingly next I would say the mangoes the mangoes are actually about 60 70 percent of the time are usually pretty good sometimes they'll put a couple of strawberries on top so they kind of mix things up a little bit um, 
Next, I would say watermelon. The watermelon is hit or miss. About 50% of the time, the watermelon is going to be good. Uh, sometimes it's not, sometimes it is. And if you get some watermelon that's, that's not tasting very good, just go ahead and throw a little bit of salt, maybe even a little bit of sugar on there to kind of um, give it a little more flavor, okay? Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe normally, I normally do not go with the cantaloupe. Uh, I've had the cantaloupe a few times and every time I've had it, it, it just doesn't taste very good. I mean, it's truck stop fruit, you know? So what do you expect? Um, last and definitely least are the oranges, okay? Oranges. I do not like the oranges that come in the fruit bowls or the fruit cups that are at the truck stops. I would say 95% of the time, those just do not taste good for whatever reason. So I would steer clear of those, but overall, like I said, you know, get what you like. Uh, the fruit cups, they do a pretty good job of uh, giving you something to snack on while you're driving down the road, and they're healthy for you. With that being said, I also like tangerines. You can buy these at Walmart or most, you know, grocery stores. Uh, sometimes they're called cuties. Um, and they're just, they're just small, smaller versions of oranges and they're easier to peel. They make less mess. Those actually do a very good job of keeping me awake going down the road because you actually have to peel them. All right. And then what I normally do is I'll, I'll peel them off, you know, one section at a time and eat one little section at a time. So it kind of gives you something to do and it keeps your mind busy. Not to mention it has vitamin C in it and vitamin C gives you energy. Okay. Truck stop sandwiches. Um, the truck stop sandwiches that come in like the little uh, deli, those are hit or miss. Um, but I generally like the turkey and ham and cheese sandwich. Um, the brand is usually Like Moms. That's actually the brand is called Like Moms. Those are actually pretty good. What I'll do is I'll eat one earlier in the day and then I'll wait, you know, until I get hungry again a little bit later and then I'll eat another one. Um, I mean, when it, when it comes to like choices of of snacks or eating a burger or fries, that's actually not a bad choice. Um, what I'll do to kind of add a little flavor to it is I'll put some mayo and mustard on it, all right? And it actually comes out pretty good. Now, another little trick I do is I will actually, um, I'll take one of the sandwiches out because it comes one sandwich and it usually comes sliced in half. I'll take one half out, I'll place it inside of a Ziploc bag, zip it up, and I'll put it um, on the defroster and I'll put the, the heat on and I'll do that for about two or three minutes and then I'll have a nice warm um, turkey and ham and cheese sandwich, all right? Um, so try that, it actually works pretty darn good. Next, sunflower seeds, all right? Sunflower seeds, these are like my last resort. However, they work so well. My favorite are the Taco Bell sunflower seeds. Believe it or not, those are actually very good. All right, so the Taco Bell sunflower seeds, normally towards the end of the night is where I start to get really sleepy. And then like, you know, I'll go ahead and start chewing on those three at a time. And again, it's keeping you busy and it's making making your mind think because you, you put it in your mouth, then you have to focus on, you know, cracking the shell open with your teeth and then, you know, putting the shell on one side and then eating the kernel that's on the other side and then spitting it out. So it just gives you a lot to do. And like, I would say 90% of the time, once I start getting sleepy, once I start eating sunflower seeds, I actually, I'm not sleepy anymore. Uh, now, the problem with that is, sunflower seeds can be very high in salt. So I try to um, keep my portion very limited. Um, what I've noticed though, is once I stop eating the sunflower seeds, a lot of times I get sleepy again. So, you know, like I said, maybe eat three at a time, take your time eating them. So that way, you know, maybe over a 30 minute or 45 minute period, you've maybe had one serving or half a serving, which, you know, in that case, you're still keeping your sodium below your daily um, recommended intake, all right? So something to keep in mind there. All right, chips, potato chips. This is probably the worst suggestion ever, but I love potato chips, all right? Um, and, and, and they actually do a pretty good job of keeping you awake. Now, in the future, I am gonna look for alternate snacks, um, you know, that are similar to chips. But for right now, I eat chips. I like the Doritos sweet chili uh, chips. Sometimes I'll get the, those new, I think they're called like, I don't know, Voodoo or Zap chips or something like that. Those things are amazing. So uh, I know these things are high in fat, high in cholesterol. Uh, like I said, this is not a healthy snack list. This is just the snacks that I like to eat when I'm going down the road uh, because it helps keep me awake. Now what I do a lot of times is um, in order to do portion control, 
I'll buy a big bag of chips and I'll get those Ziploc bags and I'll just put like one serving each in those Ziploc bags. And it'll tell you on the back of the package, 10 chips, 15 chips is one serving. And most bags of chips will have like two or three or four servings in it. So that'll usually last me the rest of the week. Or um, I'll go to Walmart and get the, the variety pack with the small bags that are usually about 160 calories a bag, okay? So just something to keep in mind. Yeah, it might not be a healthy snack, but if you're keeping your portions, uh, if you're keeping your portions low, then it, it kind of offsets that some, okay? Um, so those are some of the snacks that I enjoy eating when I'm on the road to help keep me awake and keep me uh, moving on down the line. All right, uh, again, leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know what are some of the snacks that you recommend. What are some healthy snacks? Uh, what are some snacks that are your go-to when you're feeling sleepy, you start eating that snack and you feel better. I love cakes, cookies, and donuts, but I try to stay away from them. Unfortunately, uh, I make up for that with the chips, but you know, you have to choose your poison, okay? Um, now for that truck stop joke. One time, there were these two driver trainers hanging outside the terminal. One guy said, man, I've got to go home and make love to my wife. The other guy said, why are you complaining about that? You're making it sound like work. He said, well, it is work. He said, that's not work, that's pleasure. And they were arguing back and forth about whether going home making love to this guy's wife was work or was a pleasure. So a rookie came walking up, you're ready to go inside to get the paperwork, and uh, one of the uh, driver trainers said, come here, rookie. He said, come here. Me and this uh, other driver trainer here, we're having an argument about whether going home making love to my wife is work or pleasure. What do you think? The rookie thought about it for a second, looked at both of them, and said, well, sir, it must be pleasure, because if it was work, you'd send me to go do it. <laughs> Hopefully you guys like that joke. Uh, once again, thank you very much for tuning in to the Smooth Operator channel. Uh, if you liked the video, please go ahead and hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that notification all bell. And maybe share some of uh, your truck stop jokes with us. And as always, remember, stay smooth, stay safe.